Hey guys, what's up? This week is music week on My Digital Escape, so I'm just gonna start off with naming my favorite songs by my favorite artist. So my favorite song would probably be Bulletproof Love by Sleeping With Sirens. Uh, another song would be Kick Me by Pierce Savelle. Um, oh shoot, hold on. Hello? Learn your bands, bitch! Alright, hey guys. So, I'm actually gonna be talking about how I basically got into this music and like when it happened and all that stuff. So Christmas Eve of 2013, um, I got an iTunes card. We get to open one gift before Christmas, which is like on Christmas Eve, we get to open a gift. And I opened um, an iTunes card. So I was laying in bed like, and I was really excited for Christmas because I mean like, who's not? Santa Claus is freaking landing on your roof in about a few minutes. And I, I, I usually think he's gonna fall through because like, all the pictures, he's freaking huge as heck, so, I mean, like, and he's got freaking presents. I don't think he could, our roof can withstand that. But anyways, uh, I guess it does every year, and he comes down, so. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I was just laying in bed, waiting, um, and I was on my phone, scrolling through iTunes, trying out some new songs. I was texting somebody, and I was like, what's some, like, good music I can listen to? And then they um, said Pierce the Veil, and I was like, okay, all right, I guess I'll give them a shot. And like, I usually didn't listen to music like that yet, um, like the punk rock or whatever. Um, and then I tried it out, and then there was one song that stuck out to me, it was Bulletproof Love, and I was like, alright, this is nice. Then I listened to that song a bunch, and then I just eventually started like, getting into their music, and then I got out of Pierce the Veil. Well, I have all three of their CDs right here. Um, I'm still like, this is my favorite band of all time because like, I listened to their music first. But, um, yeah, and then I started listening to other stuff, like Sleeping With Sirens, I don't know if you can tell what this is, it's the CD thing. <laughs> Falling In Reverse, and Fire Sauce is thrown in the mix, it's a little different, but I mean, it's still, still music, you know? I'm not just, um, stuck to one type of music, um, I, I, I can listen to about anything, I don't really listen to country much, it's not like I don't, like, it's not like I hate it, but it's just not something that I, that I like, um, but I'll listen to a lot of stuff. My favorite is definitely like this people stuff. I don't I don't know what this kind of music is called. I don't want to like say something and the people in the comments, someone's called you idiot. Cause those hurt my feelings, dude. Those, those hit me right in the feels and it breaks my heart. <laughs> Question of the day, I guess I'll do one even though I normally don't. Um, how did you guys start listening to the music that you do? Like if you guys listen to Pierce the Veil or whatnot, what was your story behind it? Did you guys like always listen to this or did you guys just get into it? I sort of just got into it, I guess, because it was 2013, and then the whole 2014 now and stuff. So I'm sort of newish into it, I guess, but it is definitely, like, really amazing. Oh, uh, since we're on music, artist I'm really into is Christopher Drew right now, Never Shall Never. I've been listening to his stuff ever since I was in L.A. because Johnny was listening to it. I was like, okay, I've heard, th I've heard this song before. What is this? And then he told me, and then I was like, oh, okay, all right. So I was sitting in the airport. I was, um, I think I had Starbucks at the time, and I was just going to my phone, and I was like, okay, my plane's about to board, I'm not gonna have Wi-Fi, because we had like a really old plane, it was really scary, but we didn't have Wi-Fi, so I was like, I'm gonna download a few songs really quick, and yeah, and now like, that's what I've been listening to every single day since then. So I'm also doing a giveaway, there is one way you can win, go to my pinata, um, on my newest story, leave either a picture, a comment, a gif of some sort, and I will be picking one lucky winner to win one $100 iTunes gift card. And yeah, all you have to do, it's very simple. It's free to, free to enter. It's really easy. Click the link down below for my newest pinata story and leave a comment. One last thing before I go, I also have merch up on districtlines.com slash Hall. There's also a link down in the description. Go check it out. Um, I'm hopefully getting mine soon this week because that would be really awesome. But other than that, guys, I will see you next time, and peace out.